forgot in my introductions that I wanted to thank uh, Representative Jeanette Mott Oxford and Representative Caney for taking time this evening to make sure that they were able to come here and support discussion. So thank you. Um, I'm glad that you brought up construction work in progress. Uh, that acronym is in the title of my job. Um, so I'm also glad that you decided to compare it to a credit card. Well, like a credit card, when you go to Best Buy and purchase a big screen TV, you swipe that card, you put the TV in your cart, and you get to go take it home and start watching it. With construction work in progress, you become the credit card. You don't get anything, Amron gets it. There is no service provided. With early site permit legislation, there are no jobs provided. All we get are higher rates now, with the promise that there might be nuclear power in the future. Amron does not need early site permit legislation to pursue nuclear power. They can pay for an early site permit on their own. I know this, and they know this, because in 2008, as I alluded to earlier in my opening statements, Amron paid $75 million for a construction and operating license to build a nuclear reactor. So if they have the 40, $75 million to build a nuclear reactor, they've got the $45 million to pay for an early site permit. With that said, the majority of the studies that are in that COL, that license that they applied for in 2008, a majority of those studies are found in the early site permit. They're wanting us to pay for money that has already been spent. They want us to pay now for something we may never get, and they want us to pay now for jobs that may never even be, uh, may, may never even be created. Um, so, you know, you don't always have to count on Amron to generate your own power either. You know, if uh, right now I would say that Amron is probably looking uh, back at history and comparing themselves to a bathhouse, a municipal bathhouse. Uh, when centralized plumbing came along, uh, you know, the, the richer folks got it first and they put it in their homes and were able to take showers, not in the public, and uh, when it became cheap and affordable for everybody else, they decided to do it too. So, uh, you know, we can, first we need to start with the centralized power before we start building nuclear power that's going to leave long-lived radioactive waste here in Missouri, it's not going anywhere else. That Callaway reactor is going to have, to have a dome over it or something when it's done producing power. But decentralize, efficiency, uh, uh, become energy efficient, and then build new renewables. Uh, you can work on cogeneration. There are several options that are way more cheaper than nuclear power. The, the, the folks down in Georgia that I alluded to earlier, the utility executives there, when the Public Service Commission threatened threatened lightly, I might add, that cost overruns for their nuclear reactor were going to have to be paid for by their shareholders. They said, let's build a natural gas plant instead. It's way cheaper. If we knew we were going to have to pay for the cost overruns, we wouldn't have started this process. So, you know, it just goes to show that it doesn't matter where the cost overruns happen as long as it's not happening on 